today I'm reviewing the McCool's Stitch and Save Easy Pattern M6493, uh, which consists of two market totes which you can make. I've made version A, which is a more rectangular version. It's got two wooden dowels for the handles, a cardboard base, and exterior pockets. And this is the final result. So as you can see I've used a medium weight cotton duck fabric for both the exterior and the interior lining. I've used interfacing as well um, which is suggested as optional but I'd recommend it as even with the interfacing it's still not holding its structure very well although there's nothing in it so it would obviously hold better if I had it full of projects. So the dowels I've cut myself um, using a saw, I got a, a big piece of wooden dowel from a local store and the base, if I just take it out now, um, obviously it's covered in fabric, I really like this feature that it has a, a separate base and um, this is actually not cardboard as suggested on the pattern, I've used uh, the back of a picture frame. So just a cheap picture frame which had a glass front. The glass front had broken so this this was just a way of using up the rest of the frame. But obviously I did have to saw that down to size. In terms of difficulty I thought this was a nice simple make. It's, as it's rectangular um, I can't vouch obviously for the other design on this pattern but um, this one, lots of straight lines you have to turn at the corner but that's as complicated as it gets and this made it a nice easy make and um, the instructions are very clear as well and um, they have the seam allowance printed on the pattern which was particularly useful for me pattern matching the exterior pockets on both sides there are also lots of markers and notches on the pattern to ensure that um, you get the pockets lined up correctly and other aspects of the bag. One thing I would highlight is it doesn't remind you to trim the seam allowance on the corners so um, obviously this is a good idea to make sure that it sits neatly. Regarding the fit and design of this item I haven't used it myself as it's um, a gift that I've made. Uh, its intended use is to be a knitting and crochet bag it's a decent size. I've got a similar knitting and crochet bag myself. It's a little bit longer than this one. However, this one's wider, probably almost twice the width of the one I own. So in terms of its capacity, it probably could hold a lot more. However, you would have to angle longer knitting needles to fit them in. I really like the fact it's got exterior pockets. I think these are a great feature and extra storage. I think that you could add the pockets to the inside as well. It doesn't ad advise it on there, but it would be a very simple adjustment to make. And then you've got extra sections. Another key point to note is there's no fastening at the top, so it's completely open and exposed. Um, it depends what you're using it for, because if you are using it as a market bag, um, you may not wish to have it sealed. Um, but if you are using it for travelling, say, um, you may wish to add a zip or even ties just to secure it a bit better. Another feature I wasn't too sure about was how they've attached the wooden dowel handles. In the pattern it suggests to glue them and I'm not very keen on the idea of adding glue so I haven't done it myself which means they are moving around a bit. I'm not even sure the glue would work that well anyway. What I have done is I've added some hand stitching just to secure it right up to the dowel. The original machine stitching is right down here so I've just hand stitched either side on the edge to ensure that it's a bit more secure. However, on the design I've got, uh, the, the bag I've got that's similar, um, they have actually sewn the ends so that it can't come off the side. And I think also the fabric's a bit thicker on each side. 
so it's not even likely to pop off the other way. This took seven and a half hours to make, that's not including the time it took me to sort out the wooden dowels and the base. Uh, it does include cutting time, it probably took me half of that time, half of the seven and a half hours to cut all the different pieces and attach the interfacing. The rest of the time was for actually construction and sewing it up. I would make this again, it's a nice simple make. Uh, like I say there would be a few adjustments such as adding pockets to the lining, um, perhaps adjusting how these these um, wooden handles work, possibly shaving a bit of the length of the dowels just so I can then sew the edges down to secure the handles so they don't keep moving about and um, so I don't have to use glue. I'd also consider perhaps adding a zip in or some other fastening just to make it a bit more secure as well.